Hi guys, welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, I did a bunch of updates on sites yesterday to WordPress 6.6. .6. I'll roll down here. And after the update, every single button, every single link now has an underline on it like that, which I really don't want. But it's a really easy fix. And this has happened after upgrading to WordPress 6.6 .6 here. So if you're having this problem, it's a really, really easy fix. You're just going to write a couple of lines of code to get rid of that. It will be fixed in the next update of WordPress, I'm sure. But for those of you that worry about it or your clients are, are giving you uh, grief about these underlines appearing, and I can understand that, let's fix it. I want to go down to Divi. Well, in fact, let's just use a regular appearance. And we'll go down to Customize. And we'll go down to the additional CSS. Now, most WordPress sites have this nowadays. If your WordPress site doesn't have an additional CSS panel, check your documentation. It's going to have somewhere you can add CSS, or I'm sure you can add a free plugin to add this. OK, I'm going to give it a title first, which is a forward slash, star star forward slash. Anything in between the stars will not be read as code, so it's a great place for writing titles, notes, and things like that. Let's say link underline. OK. Now, links, what they call anchor tags, those are custom buttons, so they haven't actually got it, or they may not even have a link on them. Probably just made those for demo purposes. There's a regular button with a link. And as you can see here, these buttons have got links and the underline going on there. So these are anchor tags. So we're going to write A. And we're going to open and close some curly brackets. We're going to write text dash decoration colon and then none n o n e. We're going to force it. So I'm going to say exclamation and the word important. And immediately you can see those links have disappeared from these buttons and that button right there. Fantastic. Make sure you publish your changes. I'll put this bit of code down below the video, welcome to just copy it, paste it, throw it into your additional CSS, wherever that may be on your site there. Now we've published, let's have a look back at that page. There's our buttons there. They got those horrible underlines on them. Let's do a quick refresh. And they're gone. Fantastic. And down the bottom, that's gone too. Brilliant. So like I say, they're going to be fixing that in the next update, I'm sure. But if you need a quick fix, that's how to do it. And like I say, that bit of code's down below the video for anybody that wants to copy and paste it. Please help yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignInTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.